Hello everyone. My name is Ankit Verma and today we are learning outlier. In the diagram we are representing the marks from 0 to 100. If a student is getting 40 marks out of 100, that will pass. So if marks are more than 40, this is pass. And if it is less than 40, that is fail. We are assuming that In a class there are 5 students. Their marks are 28, 39, 27, 36 and 100. Now we are plotting these marks at some approximate position. First is 28, next is 39, next is 27, next is 36. and the last is 100 here we can observe that out of 5 4 are less than 40 that means four students are fail the management has decided we are going to provide extra class if average marks of the class are less than 40 means if in a class maximum people are fail then they will give the extra class here we can see that out of 5 students 4 are fail which are in majority so they need the extra class but here one more student is available which is having 100 marks as per the decision of management we need to calculate the average marks so 28 plus 39 plus 27 plus 36 plus 100 divided by 5 equal to 230 divided by 5 which is equal to 46 this is strange there are five students out of four are having less than 40 marks they are fail but their average is coming 46 which is more than 40 this is because we are having one student which is having so high marks which is 100 this 100 value is very far from the majority so this is the outlier the impact of outlier is so high that the complete average is going above and because of only one student there will be no extra class because their average is greater than 40 and only because of one student the deserving students which are in majority are not getting the class so this is the impact of a outlier so outlier is a data point that stands out from other data points here outlier is a data point which is very far from the other data points which are in majority outlier has much higher or much lower value than other here we have the outlier value which is 100 which is very high from the remaining values outlier presents impact on result of machine learning algorithm Here if we are designing a algorithm that is giving extra class if average marks are less than 40 here four students are having marks less than 40 so result must be the extra class but because of the presence of outlier there is impact on result and because of it the average is going up and there is no extra class outlier can be caused by measurement error or execution error here if we are not measuring properly or if we are not executing properly in that case outlier comes now we are learning the problems that arise due to the outlier first problem is biased model here because of the presence of outlier model is not accurate it is biased 
Second problem is reduced accuracy. The accuracy of model is reduced. It is not giving the accurate results. Next problem is increased variance. Here the data points are scattered at very far distance. So here variance is increased. Next problem is reduced interpretability. Here it is not able to interpret the exact results. So these are the problem that arise due to presence of outlier. In outlier, there is a term named outlier mining. It means analysis of outlier. When we analyze the outlier and check its value, this is called outlier analysis or outlier mining. Now we are learning types of outlier. The first type of outlier is global outlier. Global outlier is far from main body of data. Here we can see that this outlier is very far from other data points. Global outlier is easy to identify and remove. Here this outlier is very far. We can easily check this and remove this. The second type of outlier is contextual outlier. Contextual outlier is unusual in specific context, but it may be usual in other context. Let us suppose on a specific day, the sale of a laptop is very high. This is unusual. But on the other hand, that day was Sunday. So this is usual. So here the sale is high. This is showing unusual. But sale is high because of Sunday. That is usual. So this is contextual outlier. Contextual outlier is difficult to identify and remove. Here the outlier is based on context. So it is not easily identified and removed. It requires specific domain knowledge. Here to identify the contextual outlier, we need the specific domain knowledge. Let us suppose the sale of laptop is increasing because of the holiday or Sunday. So we must have the knowledge of sales. So these are the types of outlier. Now we are learning methods to detect outlier. The first method is statistical methods. Here the first is Z-score. It calculates the standard deviation and identify outlier. Next is interquartile range. It is also called IQR. It identify outlier which are outside a range. This range is calculated using quartiles. The second category of methods to detect outlier is distance based methods. Here the first is K nearest neighbors, which is also called KNN. It identify outlier which are far from its neighbors. Next is local outlier factor. It is also called LOF. It calculate the density and based on the density, it find the outlier which is having lower density. The third category of methods to detect outlier is clustering based methods. The first is density based spatial clustering of applications with noise. It is also called DB scan. It cluster the data points based on their density and identify the outlier which are not belonging to any cluster. Next is hierarchical clustering. It create hierarchy of clusters and then it identify the outlier which is belonging to the smallest cluster. In the fourth category, there are other methods to detect outlier. Here the first is isolation forest. It randomly isolate data points by splitting features and identify the outliers which are isolated. 
The next is one class support vector machine. It is also called OC SVM. It create a boundary around the normal data and identify the outlier which are outside that boundary. So these are the methods to detect outlier. Now we are learning techniques for handling outlier. The first technique is removal. Here the outliers are removed from data set. The first is thresholding. Here the data points which are exceeding a threshold are removed. Next is distance based methods. Here the data points which are very far from their neighbors are removed. Next is clustering. Here the data points which do not belong to any cluster are removed. The second category under the technique for handling outlier is transformation. Here the data is transformed to reduce the influence of outlier. Under transformation, the first is scaling. Here the data is normalized to have a mean of zero and standard deviation of 1. The next is Winsorization. Here the value of outlier is replaced with the nearest non-outlier value. Next is Log Transformation. Here the log is applied and data is compressed so that to reduce the impact of outlier. The third category under the techniques for handling outlier is Robust Estimation. Here the algorithms are used which are less sensitive to outlier. Means if the outlier is present, algorithm will be less affected. The first under Robust Estimation is Robust Regression. Here the algorithms like L1 Regularized Regression or Hubbard Regression are used which are less influenced by outlier. Next is M estimators. It estimate the model parameters which is having less weight so that they have less impact of outlier. Next is outlier insensitive clustering algorithm. Here the algorithms like DB scan are used which are less influenced by outlier. The fourth category under techniques for handling outlier is modeling outlier. Here the outliers are explicitly modeled as a separate group. Here the first is adding separate feature. Here the new feature is added which indicate whether a data point is outlier or not. Next is using mixture model. Here the model is trained in such a way that it assumes data is coming from multiple distribution out of which one distribution is outlier. So these all are the techniques for handling the outlier. That's all for today. Thank you.